Hi, my name is Pascal. Today we are going to talk about what bench press bars are made of. So the main ingredient of barbells is steel. Now the steel can either be from the States or from Europe. There is kind of a myth that apparently the European steel is better for building barbells than the American steels. However, the Americans will just say it the other way around. So if you buy a barbell from Ilico or other or European vendors, most likely the steel comes from Sweden. When you buy from Rogue, it most likely comes from America. If you buy from Titan Fitness or other vendors who are producing in China, then the steel will most likely come from wherever they can buy it cheapest. So one major component of a barbell are the shafts. The shafts are usually also made of steel and have some nickel or copper to look nicer or where it has to be a bit softer than just steel. That is usually at the bearing or bushing part of the shaft that attaches it to the rest of the barbell. Bearing usually spins a bit faster while bushing spins a bit less fast. So for Olympic weightlifting, you most likely want to have a barbell that has bearing, which makes it a bit more expensive. For other purposes, like powerlifting purposes, bushing is more than enough. So the knurling of a barbell is also a main component of it. And based on how expensive the barbell is, the deeper, more rough usually the knurling becomes. So the higher the price, usually the more aggressive the knurling is as a rule of thumb. If you are doing powerlifting, you want the knurling to be as aggressive as possible. For other purposes, you might want a less aggressive knurling and invest the money saved on the knurling into bearing so that the sleeves of the barbell spin faster for Olympic weightlifting. Now the last thing to talk about as a component of barbells is whip. So whip determines how much the barbell will actually bend slightly while you're lifting. Now Olympic weightlifters usually want a bit of more whip because that helps to catapult the barbell overhead and just make it easier to handle while powerlifters usually want a barbell that is quite stiff except for the deadlift and doesn't have a lot of whip because if you are squatting 400 kg you don't really want a lot of life in the barbell and unpredictable movement. Now the whip is determined on how the barbell has actually been hardened. Um, the higher the PSI usually the stiffer the bar becomes. It is all relating on how the metal has been treated before it has been finished with knurling and the sleeves have been put up um, and um, the less hardened the barbell is the more likely it will have to have a bit of whip. So if you want a good Olympic bar weightlifting barbell go for more whip. If you want a great powerlifting barbell don't look for whip but look more for a high PSI number and an aggressive knurling. So to summarize, bench press bars are mainly made up of steel, some little plastic components and also maybe a bit of copper or other metals that are a bit softer, especially in the bearing bushing part to make it spin faster. A good barbell will set you back somewhere between $200 to $1,000 where the Olympic weightlifting bars are usually at the upper end and the less aggressively knurled bushing bars that are mass produced are on the lower end. If you are buying something for your own home gym, I think you probably should invest somewhere between $300 to $500 to get something decent that you will have fun with and that you also can be proud of if you buy new. If you buy used, of course, you know, you might even get one for free just to take it off someone else's hands, but that also requires a bit of patience. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and tell your friends about my channel. Have a nice day and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.